Hello parents and members of the Bayview Glen community. This is a quick presentation on the lower school digital fluency and specifically coding. So when we talk about digital fluency, we focus on three areas. Digital citizenship. So each year students work with Mr. Meingarten on digital citizenship. Uh, overarching focuses are how to properly, safely, and effectively search online. How and who to share with and how to properly communicate and collaborate with peers, especially when we're using platforms like OneNote, Office 365, and the Google Docs platforms. Uh, we also look at digital skills. So from grades 1 through to 5, students work at their proficiency, uh, proficiency at navigating web spaces using Microsoft and Google programs as far as other, and all the programs, and developing typing skills so that they are able to communicate uh, through writing on computers. And each year we have different expectations and then we track these to make sure that our students are on pace to be digitally fluent in communicating for when they enter grade six with a one-to-one -one, uh, student to tablet ratio. And the area that I'm gonna focus on mostly in this presentation is coding and programming. So coding and programming allow students the ability to express themselves through technology. At the SK and grade one level, it is understanding the foundational skills for thinking about programming. And through each grade, students develop more nuanced skills and are challenged to be more adept at creating more complex code. So in grade one, students in grade one use Ozobots to help understand the principles of if conditions, loops, and the foundations for algorithms with very small robots that respond to color-coded programs the students create. As you can see on the right side, this is one of the Ozobots, and this is a picture of a student using color to create code that the robot responds to. In grades two and three, we continue with if conditions and algorithms and loops. And the code on the left in grade two, we use uh, code.org, and it allows students to especially with the if condition. So looking at the bee, if the bee gets the flower, it has the conditions to create honey. Okay, moving on to grade four and five. So in grade four and five, the coding gets, uh, we, we load the, the skill set that we ask our students to uh, understand. And so we start to introduce things like functions, variables, and graphics. So as you can see in the grade four picture here, the students are dealing with positioning of characters, uh, variables as in contorting and changing face expressions, and introducing a story. So using code to be able to express oneself in story. And then in art on the right side. So as you can see, the student that has created this is using extensive code, and that code is helping create the diagram for what looks like the Chicago Bulls uh, logo or emblem. So from the on-screen coding uh, to robotics, so in grades four to six, coding takes on a new variable with EV3 Robotics. With a very similar language to Scratch, students now have to engage with physical robot and also considering engineering principles when writing programs for the robots to execute specific skills. What we like about this in Bayview Glen is that it has a, a low floor and high ceiling. So at the top, when I speak about low floor, if we have students that come in uh, in the grades, say grade four or five or six, and don't have exposure to coding before, haven't been at a team, haven't been at a camp, uh, there's still a place for them uh, with the easy drag and drop, drop, sorry, drag and drop coding. But for students who have extensive uh, coding capability or are quite familiar with EV3 uh, robots, whether it be from a robotics team, from camps in the summer, or March break, or clubs that they've partaken in, or that they have uh, just have a kit at home, the, the code at the bottom is a very complex code that uses a lot of different algorithms and has loop conditions and uh, can be very creative, kind of like creating music. Uh, the code that you can create is very dynamic and can be quite challenging. So it allows for those that are already proficient to still push themselves. So one of the things that we've come to understand in the lower school and in Baby Glen in general is that digitally fluent students and the ability to code are becoming synonymous. So as we move toward the 2020s, the lower school's goals are to, number one, develop students' relationship with coding early and often to advance confidence and capability. And number two, 
Use engaging game-based platforms to excite and create a love for programming. Thank you for letting me present this to you. And if you have any questions, I can be contacted via email at jdennison at bayviewglen.ca. My extension is 573. And if not, stop me in the halls if you have any questions. I'd love to talk to you. Bye for now.